Good morning, Dr. Shin. Thank you for being with us for the Eyebrow TV. Um, we have a couple of uh, questions for you. First, we know that you are going to give a plenary lecture this afternoon. Yes. Could you explain the talk? Uh, so I will talk about empathy, empathy behavior. Uh, empathy is, is the capacity to, to understand or share the feelings of someone else's. For example, when a mother uh, sees her child get hurt, the mother feels pain herself. So that's empathy. And empathy is so essential for any social animals. Uh, that's, without it, you cannot really communicate uh, freely. So the, we have a mouse mother to study empathy behavior. So then we, you can use, since it's in the mouse system, you can use genetics and all those neurological, neuroscience tools. Uh, so we figure out some genes that are involved in the empathy, also neural circuits uh, that support the empathy behavior. That's what I will talk about uh, today. Yeah. So that sounds very interesting. So you can connect the genes to the neural circuits in the brain, which seems to be there is a gap. So could you explain how you can fill the gap in your research? Uh, so the, I think genetics is a very good approach because it really pinpoint the molecular mechanism. You start from there, you find the phenotypes in the animal, then you try to connect those two by the searching for the brain regions that's responsible for the mutant, mutant phenotypes. So I think that's what we have been doing. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, the Korean neuroscience community has been grown rapidly during the last decade. Um, do you uh, have any suggestions for the Korean neuroscience community to go in the future? Could you suggest some future direction for the neuroscience community? I think uh, neuroscience community itself is very strong and very motivated. Uh, the last decade, the, there has been a big increase in funding uh, to support neuroscience research. I think that was very important. So if that trend continues, I think that our country will really stand up as one of the leading country in neuroscience. Uh, we already have uh, the, in this meeting, China, Japan, Korea has a th three country the meeting. So that's the beginning. And that alone is, I think, almost equivalent to uh, European neuroscience community. So, uh, so that means these three countries can stand alone in a sense. So that's much better because it doesn't take uh, long distance travel to USA or Europe. So uh, lots of communication between those three countries and good support from the government. I think that will really guarantee the success. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Could you uh, introduce your uh, center uh, for cognition and sociability in the IBS? Right, the, the center for cognition and Sociality, that's the center I have been uh, directing. Uh, that's already uh, s seven, eight years already. Uh, because of the center, I could develop uh, social neuroscience in my center. Uh, and that's how I developed the empathy studies. Uh, now, the, uh, we have a new director, co-director, Justin Lee, who is very, very active in a new area of neuroscience, uh, especially glial cells. So the combination of the, our, the neuron-centered research uh, with glial-centered research, those interactions will be really critical for the future. Yeah. Thank you. And in this EBRO meeting, there are many young scientists and investigators. Could you give them a good advice for being a good scientist? Well, that's tough <laughs> because uh, young, young scientists, uh, it's difficult for young scientists to appreciate the advice from elder people. Oh, I think it's important <laughs> for that. Yeah. 
Uh, I think uh, the science is a great thing to do in my life. So I hope young scientists will share the same feelings. So you really have to dedicate yourself and your thoughts, your enthusiasm, and your time and effort. And in, in addition, I think you really need to communicate with other people, other senior people, also scientists outside in the world. These days, science is a global business. Uh, you should try to attend many scientific meetings and try to make connections with somebody who can really help you. I think that's very important. Yeah. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.